All right. I think we're ready. So, sorry about the delay. And let's go. Ah, so, what have we got today? Today we have the lesson five of Captain Haddock's Home School at University, which is on the word wrecker. So here he is, shouting at some people. Wreckers, pirates, filibusters, pickaroons, leaving us in the lurch for doomed ships. To Davy Jones with a lot of wreckers. So what do we think a wrecker might be? Someone who wrecks a ship. Someone who wrecks a ship. Very close, and perhaps even correct, but not sure. So what is a wrecker? Why did they do it? But it was just in the old days, right? Or was it? So here is picture. What can we see? See a big ship with a French flag. And it looks like it's been wrecked. wrecked. And there's a moon out here. And there are some people here in boats. Let's look at that. There's some people here in boats pulling on board the barrels. This is actually what a wrecker is. A wrecker is somebody who salvages gets, who saves, all of, or as much of the cargo as they can from a wrecked ship. Now, here's another picture of a wrecker trying to get some cargo from a wrecked ship. But here, you can see there's an army man, a policeman, with a sword, kind of capturing it. Because it was illegal. The rule was that if you found stuff from a wrecked ship, you had to give it to the crown, you had to give it to the to the country, the ship, the stuff was wrecked on, and they'd, they'd give it back to the people who owned the ship. You couldn't just pick it up and take it as your own. But, but people did. And actually, at one point, almost half the trading ships that went trading around the world didn't come back. They were, they were wrecked from somewhere. So you could make, probably, talk about this in a little bit, compared to what else you might be doing with your life at the time could probably make some reasonable money as a wrecker, taking the cargo from wrecked ships, particularly in a place called Cornwall in England. Cornwall, a lot of the ships coming from America, coming from Africa, coming from Europe, have to come past Cornwall. And Cornwall has some famously rocky coasts where a lot of ships would be wrecked. So here's a wrecker, got some barrels. Now, here's another thing. That's a little fire on the cliffs. Now you said a wrecker was somebody who wrecked ships. So we know for a fact that wreckers picked up the cargo from ships that had been wrecked. But people also think that the wreckers try to encourage the ships to get wrecked. They try and trick the ships into thinking they were further away from the shore than they actually were. Or maybe they would try and trick the ships into thinking that they were in a different position by lighting a light which the ship would think was a lighthouse and they'd say, oh, that's the lighthouse that's going to take us into port if I sail towards that lighthouse I'll be, ah, crash, bang, stonk not fine at all so maybe that fire there is from the wreckers trying to lure the ship in so it gets wrecked Here's another picture of the time of Cornish, Cornish wreckers. This is more recently drawn. And there you can see you've got a lantern on a stick. And he's holding the lantern up. Now one of the tricks they do is they hold the lantern up to try and get it to pretend to be a lighthouse. And the other one is, is they put it on a stick and they bob the lantern up and down. And so it would look like the light from another ship. And so if you're out to sea and you see a light bobbing up and down, you think, well, it must be safe to go over there, because that's a ship, isn't it? But it's not a ship. It's a bloke with a lantern on some rocks. Perhaps another way to trick you in. And what's going on is a whole boat is sinking. That boat is really expensive. It's got lots of lives on board. And yet, perhaps, people will be prepared to light the light, to sink the boat, just so they could steal some of the battle. So that's what a wrecker was. Pretty good insult from Captain Haddock there, I think. Somebody who will light a light to trick a ship to crash it 
just so they can steal a small amount of stuff. Someone who's going to cause a huge amount of damage through trickery, just so they can have a little bit themselves. Pretty good insult, right? But why did they do it? What makes you wake up in the morning and think, do you know what I'm going to do today? I'm going to put a lantern on the end of a pole, and I'm going to move it up and down on top of a cliff, so that a whole ship full of people will crash, destroy itself. The sailors will drown, so I can get my hands on like a barrel of brandy and try and sell it in the shop. And the answer is, because when this was happening in the 1700s, it's about the same time as the big wigs. Remember the big wigs? About the same time as the big wigs, Charles Devon. Life was hard. People were desperate. Now, this is a picture of the Cornish coast more recently, and this is a mine. And the amount of wrecking that went on on the Cornish coast dropped a lot as the people there had other jobs to do, one of which was working in a mine. But this was a really tough job. You're right next to the sea, there's this mine built on spindly little bits of wood, very, very dangerous. And this was considered a way better job than trying to be a wreck wrecker. In fact, in 1700, when the wreckers were going on, most people died before they were 50 years old. So, I mean, you could die at any time, basically. You might get a disease, uh, you might get thrown off a horse, you might not be able to go to a doctor, you might just die of hunger. People died really young, so they were prepared to do crazy things, take these crazy risks. And they just had very, very, very little money. So this is a graph, and it's a little bit complicated, but I'm going to take you through it. It says how many people in the United Kingdom lived in what we call poverty on less than one pound per day. That's 20 Egyptian pounds. Now, I mean, what can you buy with 20 Egyptian pounds? buy some flapples. Uh, you can't buy much. If you have to look after yourself and your family and have a house and 20 Egyptian pounds. And back at the time of the wreckers, maybe half of the population of the United Kingdom lived in, in poverty. And so the idea of wrecking a ship just so you could get a little bit of money wasn't so crazy. Now nowadays, a very small number of people still last time. A very small number of people live in poverty, and it turns out that uh, there aren't large communities of people just wrecking ships over in Cornwall. Just to try and talk about what one pound a day means, uh, I went on a website called Gapminder, which is photographs of families who live on that amount of money. Uh, and unfortunately, the vast majority of them are in, in sub Saharan Africa. There's a family in Mogadishu. They look pretty nice to me, uh, pretty friendly. I don't think they're out to wreck a ship. Um, uh, but these are the kind of favourite toys that they have. So this is a, a favourite toy is a football made out of uh, some pieces of paper, a marble, an uh, empty bottle, uh, and a, a broken mobile phone. If you've only got 20 Egyptian pounds a day, you can't afford toys. Uh, this is what a living room would be like. So if that's how little money you've got, you're going to do some crazy, crazy stuff. Fine. Was it just in the old days? And the answer is no. 13 years ago, very recently actually, a ship was wrecked off the coast of Cornwall. It's called the MSC Napoli, it's an Italian ship. It's a huge container ship. And there you can see it's run aground off the coast of Cornwall. And all of the stuff on the ship came onto the beach. And do you know what happened? All the people who lived nearby, not all of them, but one of them, just came down and started taking stuff. Now it was still illegal, just like back when the records were going, it was illegal. Here it's illegal. You're meant to give it back to the people who owned the ship, but they didn't. Here's a picture of some people taking a motorbike. It's illegal. It's breaking the law to take a motorbike. But actually, probably the reason why they did it is very similar to the reason why the records did it in the past. That motorbike is worth about 12,000. Call them time. If you work for a whole year, a whole year, the average person would get £22,000. So that motorbike is the equivalent of working for six months, five days a week, every week, for six months. Or you could just 
just go down to the beach again, right? So even in 2007, there were wreckers in Cornwall taking the stuff off ships. It's big, valuable stuff going past the ships. Right, so we've done what is a wrecker. We've done a little bit on why did they do it. And we've done a little bit on it just being in the old days. Awesome. Next week, or next time, we're going to do slave traders, sea lice, black beetles, baboons. No, we're going to do slave traders next time. That's a pretty cool story. Slave traders? Yeah. Uh, sorry from. No, that one. This one? Oh, I think that might be um, Secret of the Unicorn. And it's when uh, Captain Haddock has uh, drunk a little bit too much whiskey and pretending to be Sir Francis Haddock, his, uh, his ancestor. So, next lesson, lesson six. So, what? Sorry, sorry. Which probably Grant Haddock is a bad guy? I think Francis is the bad guy. I think so. I think Francis had that ship and they thought, oh, we'll have that. Thank you.